I've got to do something that's quite dangerous really. Um, I've got to try and find out, you know, what voltage is coming out here of this output. So what I'm going to do here is uh, wire this up to the mains. Now I need to warn you here, this is very dangerous and um, don't do this at home. And I see what you're doing, of course. Even if you know what you're doing, um, be careful because this really is quite dangerous. So I've got um, I've got a piece of flex here on a connector cube. So if I just connect this up, and what I'm going to do is plug this into the mains. Yeah, so like I said, be very careful here. Alright, so now I've got the transformer and I've got the flex and I'm going to plug that into the mains. So, right, uh, just take some necessary precautions. I'll keep out of the way in case something unexpected happens. And then, um, what we should find is that, well, nothing visible will happen. Um, it's not going to be a dead short, and I'm not going to go into that, but if you think about it, if you've got live and neutral, and they're just wrapped around, that should be a dead short, shouldn't it, because we tested the resistance, but it's not. Uh, again, I'm not going to go into that, but it won't be, so we shouldn't really expect anything to happen. So let's test this out and see what happens. Alright, um, everything seems alright up to now. I'm just going to check the heat of this to make sure nothing silly is happening. And there doesn't appear to be any cause for concern. It's not heating up. Um, it's making a slight buzzing sound, but that's uh, nothing to worry about. So um, it appears to be working fine. So what we have to do now is check the voltage. So if I get my voltmeter, um, I'm going to need to set it to AC voltage because of course transformers are AC so change this to AC um, now this is going to be well I assume this is going to be a step down transformer so I'm supplying 250 I can't think of any reason why it will be higher or anything really high um, I'm expecting it to be 12 volts probably um, but I don't really know Anyway, let's test this out. Well, I'll assume this is zero volts. And uh, let's just double check I've not done anything silly here. Um, no, everything's fine. It's on voltmeter mode. So let's see what we get from the centre, or what I believe is the centre tap. Ah, right, okay. So we got 16.2 volts. 16.2 um, volts. Okay, what I should have done as well really is tested what uh, voltage I'm actually getting out of the um, the plug socket, but I, I think it's 250. Um, anyway, so we're getting 16 volts out of there, which, uh, which that's probably intended to be 12 or 13 volts, but okay, perfect, that's 16 volts, or could say 12. So what's this one? This one probably 24. 28, yeah, so it's it's probably meant to be 24 volts, so um, yeah, this has been a very productive test up to now. So, um, now, I tested the other two uh, taps, and they appeared to be shorted together, so let's see what happens here. I'll put one on there, put one on here. I'm very cautiously putting these on in case anything silly happens. I'm not really used to working with transformers. Ah, 28. So that's a bit peculiar. Um, why would there be two? Why would there be two windings? That's a little bit confusing. If anyone knows why there'd be two windings or two taps or whatever they're called for 28 volts, um, let me know. I mean. So you've got 0 volts, 16 volts, and 28 volts, and then we've got a separate, 
Well, it looks like a separate winding for another 28 volts. Why would you do that? Anyway, um, so so there we go. So I've got 250 or so volts in, and I've got 0 volt, 16 volt, and uh, 28 volt, and then I've got a separate 0 to 28 volt again. So. Hmm, very interesting. The next thing we need to work out is amperage, and um, I don't really want to go into that in this video. But what I will say is that if I have a quick look at the wire, um, it appears to be um, just by sight, it appears to be about 20 amp cable, something like that. Um, so yeah, so if I say 10 amp maybe, so it's basically 24 volts, 10 amps, so it's a 250 watt, or you know, roughly 250 watt transformer. So 24 volts, 250 watts, so I don't really know what this was out or you know, what it will be used for, but it appears that that's what it is. So if I just fill in this, so we've got 16 volts there, and then we've got 28 volts there, and then we have another winding, or coil, or whatever it's called, which seems to be the same thing again. So, um, yeah, I hope you found this video interesting, and uh, thank you for watching. Bye!